Hi there, let's jump directly into it. So I am here in the Fiori Launchpad and we will navigate to the application called Schedule Asset Accounting Jobs. Select this application. So this application is used for our year-end closing activities in Asset Accounting. We will first click on Create and then you can see we are forwarded to a new screen where we need to select a template first. So there are actually multiple templates. We can click here on X and then choose from the templates via this button. You can see there are three templates and the order would be as follows. So the first step would be to recalculate the depreciation. So this template over here, which is used to recalculate our depreciation when there is a change to the value or also the depreciation method of our asset. Afterwards, we would execute this one over here called depreciation posting run. And this is used to post the depreciation and also the interest to the general ledger accounts in our financial accounting or also in our cost accounting. And the last step would be to conduct this job over here for year end closing of our asset accounting. We will start now here with the recalculation of our depreciation. So we select this job template. We would have the option to choose another name. So I would always recommend you to name it with the current date and also the company code. Click on step two. Over here, we can say that either we want this job to start immediately or we could also deselect it and then either choose when this job should be conducted or even we can define a so-called recurrence pattern. So this job runs on a regular basis. For now, we will say start immediately. Step three would then be to select the parameters. So here you can see a parameter selection where we can choose the company code. If we leave it blank, then this will be conducted for all of the company codes. For now, we will say 1010. 10. Then we can choose here an accounting principle or even leave it blank. The same also counts for the depreciation area. We can say here whether this recalculation should be conducted from a specific fiscal year. We can even restrict for assets. And then you can see we can select over here test run and for the log we can say detailed log. This I would always recommend you. Then you can check and if everything is fine we can click on schedule. Now you can see this job here is running. We can hit on go and then if you have lots of assets you must wait a couple of seconds and afterwards you will get here this log. So there are actually two logs, one per accounting principle. Let's select the first one. Here you can see the system would now conduct value changes for 36 assets for our accounting principle IFRS and also for our local gap 42 fixed assets would be subject to a value change. This is fine. You can then create a job again and this time deselect the test run. The next step would then be to conduct the depreciation posting run. So click on create again. Then this time choose X here, hit on this symbol and select depreciation posting run. Give it a job name. So again, we will say the current date and then the company code. On step two, we have the option to schedule again or start immediately. For now, we will say start immediately. And under step three, we can choose the parameters. So please recall that we use this depreciation posting run to post our planned asset values to our financial accounting. So as you know, when you post something in asset accounting, the depreciation is not directly transferred to our financial accounting. This is conducted exactly via this run over here. So this time you can see there are some mandatory fields, our company code. And by the way, you can also conduct this here for multiple company codes. This would work as well. Our fiscal year, then the posting period. So this could be done here per month, per quarter, or also at the end of each year. But at least the latter one must be true. So at least once a year, you must conduct the depreciation posting run. Normally, from my experience, most of the companies do it either monthly or quarterly. We could restrict for an accounting principle, but for now, we leave it as is. Then we have here test run again and you can see in the test run we could also restrict for certain assets to test the depreciation for instance just for one asset. We will select detailed log. This is always something I would recommend you to do. Then we can check. All is fine so we can click on schedule. Now the depreciation posting run is running. We can refresh and you can see now the job is finished. As you can see there are error messages so we can click on this log again and then per accounting principle we can inspect the error messages. Click on the first one. Here you can see that for a couple of fixed assets, the depreciation would be posted correctly. However, there are certain fixed assets where we have errors. So what we would need to do is we would need to correct those errors over here. We can click on them, inspect the details and then go either into the customizing or even conduct certain correction postings and so on and then rerun this job template. Let's go back. Once all the errors have been resolved, we can also run it then without the test run option selected so that the values are actually posted to the system. Once our recalculation depreciation run and also the depreciation posting run are finished, 
we will select the last template. So we click on create again. This time we choose X as always, then select here the search help and select the template called year end closing asset accounting, cross company code and ledger. We will give it a name again. Of course, now this doesn't make any sense because you would never conduct this here during the year, but only after the year. But to showcase this, we will do it like that. Click on step two. As always, we can define our scheduling options. For now, we will say start immediately, and then we will click on step three. Here in this step, we can now conduct a year-end closing. So this is also necessary to carry forward our fixed asset accounts to the next fiscal year. We will choose here our company code. We could restrict for ledger, but I will leave it as is. And then we must say which financial years to be closed from the perspective of asset accounting. Let's say 2025. So once we execute this year end closing program, the system will only let us close the fiscal year if certain conditions are met. Let me show you those conditions. So here you can see the system will check those four conditions. First, the system will check if there are no errors during the calculation of depreciation. So this is what we did before with the first template, the depreciation recalculation. Then the system will also check whether there is any planned depreciation which was not posted completely to the general ledger. So this means that the system will also check our second job template where we conducted the depreciation posting run. If there are any errors left, then we can't execute this job template here. Then the system will also check whether all assets acquired in the financial year have already been capitalized, so whether there are values posted to those assets. And also, however, this does not count for assets under construction. And for those assets, we can actually prevent this check from being made in the customizing of our asset class. And also, the system will check whether all incomplete assets, so the master records, have been completed. By the way, those two over here are handled by our other job templates, which we inspected before. And number three, so whether all assets have been capitalized and whether there are any incomplete assets, this we can always check via another application. Let me quickly show this to you. Let me just duplicate the screen. There is an application called Display Asset Master Worklist. And here you can always check whether there are any incomplete assets or even assets where the master data is correct, but which are not capitalized yet. Okay, let's go back. Then you can see here under additional parameters, we can select or deselect a test run. However, we do not have the option to choose here a test run for specific assets. So you can't restrict here for assets. Then you can click on check as always. And afterwards you can click on schedule. Now you can see here the job is finished. We can inspect the log per accounting principle. Let's select this one. And then you can see either there are warning or error messages that must be corrected first. This is it for the year end closing activities in asset accounting. I hope you liked this video. It took a lot of effort. So I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon where we have a community chat and where I post lots of informative blog posts about SAP. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.